Good morning. Hello, how are you? All my confident, successful business owners, welcome to our Tuesday morning business growth insights. Um, I'm a little bit late today and I must apologise. If any of you know me, <laughs> you know that that is a pet hate that I have personally showing up late anyway, but I had a few tech issues this morning, but that's okay. They're all sorted now. And I'm going to come and provide you with an incredible training as per usual. Now, today we're going to talk about how to know when you're giving away too much for free. Before I get on with today's training, I would just like to take a moment. This is something that I don't normally do in training. Um, if any of you who are watching this alongside with me today watched the Queen's funeral last night, oh, it was a very moving moment for the whole entire world. And I just want to, I haven't said much publicly um, about the Queen's passing, but I just want to take this opportunity now to say um, to you watching, maybe <laughs> from heaven, um, Queen Elizabeth, um, thank you. Thank you for your service. Um, there is no one on earth who I admire more. And thank you so much for everything that you've done for your country, Australia and the world. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I just wanted to acknowledge that beautiful lady who we all farewelled yesterday and last night across the world. Okay, so I'm going to get going before I get really emotional today. <laughs> um, so as I said, today we are going to talk about, now just bear with me, I'm just making sure that I can um, I can see your comments and good morning, Parme. Thank you for joining me, my incredible virtual assistant. Um, if you are joining us today and you'd like me to see your comments, um, feel free to just click the link above, give StreamYard permission so that I can see your name. That way I can see any chats. Um, I can see when you're commenting as well. I can see who's commenting, which is always fun. All right, um, just bear with me a sec. All the techie stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, so as I said today, we are going to talk about how to know when you're giving away too much for free, right? A really pertinent topic for many of us, right? Um, and let's let's be honest, part of being in business is that part of it is that our sales funnel, right? To have a sales funnel, and you you people would have heard me talk about sales funnels like till it comes out of my ears, um, is that you know part of having a sales funnel is all about doing a lot of things in our business that we don't get paid for, okay? Giving away all the free stuff, all in the effort and the hopes of bringing in some financial rewards for ourselves, as well as, of course, getting to help other people in their business. But as I, if you didn't see it yesterday, I did a, I did a live, um, a very poignant live on my personal profile about, um, you know, giving away free stuff um in your business if you'd like to go watch that you can go check that out on my profile but you know honestly we all we all do it in the hopes and rewards of getting something uh some financial rewards right so we want to talk through today on exactly how to know when you might be giving away too much for free and also how to stop doing that all right who have we got here we have We've got someone saying good morning here. Again, if you want to give StreamYard permission to see your name, um, I'd love to see who that is who's saying hello. We have someone else saying hello this morning. Um, someone needs to be in two meetings at once. Well, well done. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with today's training, lovely people. Okay, here we go. So I want to talk about free versus premium content, right? Premium being the content that you pay for. Okay, so let's run through it so you can make sure that you know the difference. And good morning, Chris. Lovely to have you joining us. Okay. Whoopsie. You've got to have octopus arms sometimes to run all these techie things. Okay, so free content is what you do you're sharing your client, you're sharing with your potential clients the what what you do, okay? So you're only sharing the what. So this is, you would have, a lot of you would have helped, heard me talk about a sales funnel, okay? So we've got the top and the middle and the bottom. So the top of the funnel 
is where you are sharing with people what you do that is going to help solve your client's problem, okay? So this is things like social media, um, emails, you're doing interviews with people, trainings such as in this group, you might provide your own trainings, okay? And then we have things like in the middle of the funnel, which a lot of things in the middle of the funnel are also free. So things like, and I'm sure we've all attended them, we've attended webinars, uh, workshops, free calls, things like that, okay? Now here, this is where you will also provide in these areas, you might provide limited samples of your knowledge or if you provide products, you might provide samples, like small samples of your products, okay? But you're giving all this stuff away for free, right? As I said, in the hopes of and with the intention, it's, it's less hopes, it's more the intention of getting paid clients, bringing money into the bank to put food on the table, to a roof over your heads, to have to keep yourself in business, right? Paid content is very different. Paid is now you are at the bottom of the funnel. This is where you are sharing your how, okay? This is how you are solving these people's problems. So you are now providing your deep knowledge. This is the stuff that you have trained to do, that you have learnt to do, right? Your paid um, and your paid services that you are now providing to, to literally help people solve their problems. It's also, obviously, for product-based businesses, this is where people will actually buy your products. Okay, so you're sharing the how. And as I said, your deep knowledge and your intellectual property is a big word, isn't it? <laughs> so this is things like you might have put, for instance, a program together, but no one gets that program or access to that program unless they pay for it. Lorraine, this is an interesting comment. I'm happy to share freebies that I would love to be paid for my coaching. Exactly. And we're going to talk about that a bit today. Very good point, Lorraine. Okay. So why do we provide free content? Is it worth it? Right? First of all, we absolutely want to share value with people, right? If people can see value in the free content that we share, they're definitely going to see the value in paying for our content, okay? Now also, and I say this a lot, when you do give away free content, you know, especially training such as this, webinars, um, you know, you're giving away your free samples for your products. This does help you to be seen as the expert in your field, someone who knows what they're talking about, someone who has amazing products that are, you know, um, above or, you know, can compete with all the rest. So being seen as the expert in your field as an is an incredible way to give away your free content. Yes, we all know how important it is to boost our social media presence, right? We know that. Social media is the biggest way at the moment to grow your business. It is, a, let's face it, it is a worldwide phenomenon. And a lot of people will come to me and say, I'm not big on social media. I just want to have a website and grow my business. But the reality is to grow your business, you have to be on social media in some way, shape or form to be able to get people's eyes on you because pretty much the whole world or the majority of the, the world is on social media. So you want to use these free, uh, these freebies, this free content to boost your social media presence. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you, Lee. Shit, I've been giving away too much for free. I get it, right? You people know that I come on here every single week and I'm like, yeah, the reason, why do I tell you this stuff? Because I've done it all. <laughs> I've made all the mistakes that we all make. And so this also to grow your, your following your email list, okay? Now, the reason I add email in here and I add it after social media is because, right, we've, we've all had the moment 
when Facebook, for instance, has gone down and we've gone, holy crap, what am I going to do now? <laughs> All right. I had this happen to me, I, I think it was about, uh, I don't know if it was beginning or mid last year. I don't know. The last time Facebook totally shut itself and it just, I'm swearing a lot today, it went down, right? <laughs> um, and I had the next day, I had, um, a, I had a free webinar. I think it was a free webinar that I was doing. And we were promoting heavily and I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to let everyone know that the webinars were free? The first thing we did is went to our email list. And this is something that because of social media, because social media is so popular, we avoid the email list. And it is important to grow your email list. Again, another mistake I made in, when I started my business was I didn't have an email list. Having had that happen, and quite a few other instances happen, you know, for instance, if you do something and for some reason um, Facebook might, um, you know, you might get put in Facebook jail, what do you do? You go to your email list, right? So providing that free content, and this is where you're providing things like downloads, right? Checklists, ebooks to get people to sign up for your email list so then you can have them on this list and inform them of amazing things that are happening, specials, et cetera, et cetera, all that type of thing. You also want to use your freebies to generate qualified leads. Now, hear that word, generate qualified leads, <laughs> right? And this is, um, this is something that Again, I have learned from experience in how to use those freebies to qualify leads. It's very interesting in, you know, in the, the, the long time that I've been doing this now that I can quickly um, kind of recognise someone who might be coming to me to get the free content. And look, we all do it, right? And that's not, um, you know having a go at anyone we all do it but I can get I can quickly tell the difference between someone who's just coming to get the free content as opposed to someone who genuinely wants to learn more about what I do with the possibility of signing up to work with me and I'm sure that you have all had that that kind of feeling as well so the reason the big reason that you want to put all those freebies out because it does help you qualify you know um qualify leads or get potential clients okay so in all these freebies does this pay off yes it does yes when we do it correctly okay and let's think about it here especially depending on the mindset that you're going in giving that free stuff away for this is important hear me with what i'm saying here so if you're going into for instance and i'm going to use a sales call because i do a lot of these sales calls right if you're going into a sales call with oh just give me your money and work with me <laughs> and, and you know who's done that let me know in the chat give me a yes be honest give me a yes if you have gone into a free chat or a free call or something like just give me your money i want you know i want you to work with me because here's the thing, people are going to know. While you're not obviously going to say it out loud, right, people are going to feel it subconsciously. Even if you go into a webinar with that attitude, right, I can tell you right now because, again, I've done it and it's not going to work for you. <laughs> right? However, here's the difference. When you go into a webinar or a free call or whatever, and you go in with the intent of helping someone, of helping people to solve their problems, that's totally different. Okay, so as opposed to sign up for my stuff, give me your money, as opposed to how can I help you or here's how I can help you, right, that's the difference. Now, in saying that, don't get me wrong. There is a limit to what you're going to do and what you're going to share for free. And we've already had a couple of people say, holy crap, I'm giving away too much for free. <laughs> so there has to be a limit or we, or none of us in business would make any money. And I think 
you know, I'm just going to put it out there. When, you know, we, we, we all give away often too much. We give away so much for free because we want to show people that we are worth paying for, et cetera, et cetera. However, um, we give so much away, right, that we're not making any money. We're saying we're in business. We're feeling like a fraud. You know, all of that mind stuff, all of that mindset stuff that goes around in our brain. We've all done it. Um, so how, how can you tell if you're overgiving? And I want you to let me know in the chat if you have ever heard any of these. I know that I've heard them all, right? So um, let me say, what did you say here, Lee? Um, you're the opposite. How can I help you right here, right now? That's probably what I overgive. Yes, yes, it probably is. Yes. Well, wow, interesting. Let's go into the next part then, because I want you to share with me if, if you have heard any of these then, um, Lee. All right. So what happens when you're overgiving, you attract what I have termed and there's probably a better way to put this serial freebie finders right these are the people that and and there's nothing wrong with that you know it, it's all part of growing your funnel but we can get frustrated with it right because we 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 end because we're oversharing so you attract serial freebie finders because you're sharing far too much they're going oh my god i love this person i want to go yes she will she or he will teach me amazing stuff but because they know that you're sharing so much amazing free stuff, that they're only getting your free stuff. They're not interested in getting the, the paid incredible content that you have or the products that you have. So have you heard people say things like this? Oh, my God, that was so amazing. Thanks for that. And then total crickets. <laughs> have you heard that? I have, right? <laughs> uh, yes, Lee. Yes, people say, oh my God, thanks so much. You've really helped me, but I don't have the money. Yes, yes. And there's a way to tell whether that is, um, you know, whether that is genuine. And I'm not saying that people aren't genuine when they say that, but there's a difference between I have no money and I don't want to spend my money. <laughs> you hear that difference, right? Um, and okay, so another one you might have heard is I don't even need your whatever your paid product or service is. I've already learned so much. Or, whoop, or um, this was as good as a paid course, right? I know when I personally hear those things, my heart falls because I have gone crap. I have shared too much. They are not now seeing the, seeing the value in paying for more stuff for, for my paid service, right? And I'm going to use my Heart and Soul Business Academy here as an example. So when I've done, um, you know, you know, I've done webinars, I've done workshops, I, I do free calls, right? Um, and I've had someone say to me, you know, oh, I don't even need to do the Heart and Soul Business Academy now because you have taught me so much in this 30 minutes. My heart sinks because I've thought to myself, but you don't, you know, but I have so much more to offer you and I know I can help you, right? And, and again, um, you know, have you have any of you experienced this? Or, you know, I don't need your course because what you've shared in this 30 minutes is amazing. Now, let's get real. If you're doing it properly, in 30 minutes, you're not going to learn, none of us are going to learn everything that we need to learn or we're not going to get that deep knowledge from that person or those incredible paid products. In 30 minutes, you're just not. That's why people, you know, create six week, eight weeks, um, you know, 12 week programs, because that's when they deliver their good stuff. And I'm sure a lot of you have the same type of thing. So here's my suggestion. Do these things instead. Work out, this might seem really obvious and a really silly thing to say, <laughs> right? But first of all, work out exactly what your paid programs are. So do you have? Right? Do you just offer people one-on-one -on -one, um, 
do you just offer people like one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions or do you have a package of coaching sessions? Do you offer specific courses or do you just say, come and work with me? Give them something tangible that you're going to offer them. So work out what your paid programs are. One of my paid programs is the Heart and Soul Business Academy. I also have a VIP membership, right? Um, when I started my coaching, I was doing one-on-one -on -one paid um, packages. So it was four, six or eight week packages, okay, where you could work with me one-on-one. -on -one. But work out what your paid products are or your paid programs are so that when you go into those calls, you're very, very clear on exactly what you're leading them into. Set your boundaries. This is huge, right? If someone comes into, for instance, your free calls and they're asking a lot of questions about, I want to get this answered, I want to get that answered, put a limit on how much you're willing to answer, right? And stick to that limit. Sometimes we want to, um, because we have such a desire to help that person, we naturally tend to overshare, right? So what I suggest, and this is what I do, is I let them know straight away that, okay, so in this call, I'm going to give you one or two tips, right, at the very most, that you're going to be able to wait to take away and implement into your business straight away. So they know that, you know, that 30 minutes, that's what they're going to get. They're going to get these one or two tips. And then at the end of the call, then you're going to introduce them on how to access your paid content, that paid programs, those paid sessions that you've already worked out at the top. So you're leading them through. So this is you're leading them through the sales funnel, right? So I'm going to go through these again. Work out what your paid products or services or programs are. Be clear on them. Know what your prices are and set your boundaries. One of my boundaries is that I have a 30-minute call. I have made the mistakes of letting a 30-minute call go for one hour. And guess what's happened? I've delivered so much content in that one hour that they've gone, oh, thanks, but no thanks. Because it's in their mind, given them enough that they can then go and uh, do some amazing stuff in their business. But I know that they're not getting what they need, right? And so set your boundaries, whatever they might be, Give one or two tips or one or two samples, send one or two samples of your products. And after that, if they want more with your boundaries, guess what? That's when you offer them access to your paid content or your paid products. Now, I know this is ironic, but I'm going to say to all of you, do you need further help, right? If you do, I'm here to help you. I would love to have the opportunity. And I've been speaking about it all this morning this morning. If you would like to come and book a business booster call to chat with how I can help you, how I can help you um, navigate your way through the difference between, you know, um, what to do at all different stages of the funnel and, you know, what, what and how to provide that, that amazing content, that free stuff at the top of your funnel, how to navigate your way through a free call and then how to put your products and your services together, I would love to have the opportunity to have a business booster call with you. And I am just going to put the link up on the bottom of the screen there. So if you would like to book in for a business booster call, what do, what do I just say? It's going to be 30 minutes with me. We will talk about where you are in your business right now. And I will, I'll give you one or two actionable tips and we will talk about how I can help you further. There's several opportunities that I can share with you and how you can work with me further. So you can book a call um, using that link below. It's also going up in the comments in a minute and or I've given you several options or you can just click on that um, QR code there and book in a time to speak with me. I would love to have the opportunity. So I'm just going to check through. I've got a couple of minutes. Um, they get enough to get by for now. Yeah, sometimes that's exactly um, how we feel. Um, what are you saying? People, uh, okay, so I'm, 
I've seen some bunch of comments today. So it's interesting these comments are coming through because what it's telling me is that you all get it, right? We've all done it. We've all been there. We've all given away so much for free that we're like, oh, you know. Um, so again, I'm just going to once more. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Pop that QR code. If you would like to have a free chat with me, I'm available. I would love to find out how I can help you in your business. This stuff lights a fire up under me. I just love to help people in business. <laughs> ask, I know there's some of my clients on the call right now. Just ask them how much this lights me up to be able to help them. All right, my beautiful people. I look forward to seeing you in a business booster call real soon and have a fantastic day. I will see you again in the group again soon. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.